Hey, what's good with y'all? You know, it's been a minute. Your boy, you know, account was temporarily shut down due to monetization issues, but I'm back up and I'm running in full effect. So just want to chime in first and foremost, you know, on my man LeBron. You know, congratulations on opening the I Promise School, you know, which is a really good work. You know, it's one of the reasons why I do admire LeBron for doing all the good things that he does do for his community. And it just still amazes me how people still find a way to hate on this man. So even after he's opened this school and provided a helmet and a bike and a backpack for every single child that goes to the school, spent several millions of his own dollars opening the school, uh, now reports are coming out, oh, it's going to cost the taxpayers $8 million to run the school. It's going to cost them $8 million a year to run the school. See, he's just in the limelight. You know, he just wants to be known for recognition and just doing something instead of going about it quietly like Jalen Rose or, or Michael Jordan or some other people do. You know, first and foremost, LeBron is from Akron. So he gave back to his own community where he's from, which is a wonderful thing. And he's helping the parents of this school. But getting back to the monetary portion of uh, what's being reported on these negative media outlets such as Fox News and things of that nature. Uh, well, it's going to cost the school eight million dollars a year. Well, let's just let's just I did a fact check real quick. So the school is not a private school. It's not like anybody's paying tuition. He opened a public school, which is normally, you know, what Jalen Rose and others done. They open private schools or charter schools, which is a little different. So basically, if it's a public school, then guess what? All public schools use taxpayers funds in order to run and operate the schools. So I did a little bit of research just to see on average how much it costs to operate a school uh and, and how much funds that it takes in order to uh, maintain the school and fund it properly throughout the year. So basically, uh, across the nation on average, and some states, you know, vary from other states, you know, especially states like Mississippi and Arkansas and things like that uh, are gonna be uh, a little more poorly funded than others. But nonetheless, uh, on average, if you take the average school in America, it, it costs, the taxpayers twelve thousand dollars per student so i did the math you know if there's twelve thousand dollars per student and the school is going to roughly have 900 students twelve thousand dollars times 900 is going to get you roughly about 10 million dollars right so out of those 10 million dollars lebron is actually donating two million a year to even relieve some of the taxpayers burdens from that being a wonderful uh, philanthropist that he is but people still want to complain so, I mean, what's different between the taxpayers funding this school and funding any other school in the district? I mean, it just amazes me. People go to such lengths to hate on one man, you know, and it kind of proves my point even more about LeBron that, you know, a lot of times he doesn't get the calls or, you know, a lot of things on the court because he, he's like, I won't go so far as saying to Muhammad Ali, but because he always makes social stance for his people. You know, when, when there's injustice is done. And guess what? The establishment doesn't like that. They would rather for him to shut up and dribble. So now he's come out with a documentary entitled Shut Up and Dribble. He's not going to be quiet. You know what? And he's happy in his life and where he is. And I hate I didn't get to drop my video of LeBron going to L.A. Uh, you know, I had did a top 10 countdown of where he was going. And Cleveland was number two. And L.A. was my number one. And for various reasons, that was obviously pointing to the reason. But uh, stay tuned because I will be dropping another video probably later today or tomorrow uh, in regards to my predictions on how the Lakers will do, how they will finish, if they're going to make any more moves, uh, and just the whole NBA landscape as a whole out west and who's my prediction to come out of the east, and we'll just go from there. But like, subscribe, uh, share this video. Remember, this is Be New. Uh, saying right on to the real and deaf to all fakers. You know what I mean? I'm out.